We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show, where our one rule is all your bases are belong to us. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and I am super excited, guys and gals. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been waiting to come back and play this as I found out about the SD Gundam G Generation games with Crossrays, and I had to order from overseas Genesis, which got here around Christmas of uh, 2022, and I have been waiting and waiting and waiting to get my hands on it and play it. I, I've had my hands on it. I haven't been able to play it yet. I just basically finished up everything that I had watched or was part of what I had watched that didn't actually have any kind of anime attached to it in SD Gundam G Generation Cross Rays. And before I continue with more of that game, I want to actually watch some of those animes. So a lot of uh, Gundam Seed is what I'm going to be watching and Double Zero and Double Zero F and some other stuff. But I have watched some of the older things in the uh, Gundam uh, Universal Century era. So that's what we're going to be diving into now. So I can kind of bounce between the two games. I will say that um, the circle button being confirmed and the X button not being confirmed hurts my brain and soul on, on multiple levels. But it's okay. This is for the PlayStation 4. It's SD Gundam G Generation Genesis. It's from Bandai Namco and it released on November 22nd, 2016. And it's the very first of the SD Gundam G Generation games that has uh, English. English, so good times. I am here for it. I am ready. I am eager. Let's begin. Uh, I'm just going to start a new game because I've not actually played this yet. It's going to be a good time. All right. So we just get thrown right into a, an interesting looking uh, menu here. Choose a series and play a series and play the main story. Form your team. Make preparations before beginning the stage. Quest. Okay. Gallery. All right. I'm going to go to the organizational stage. Manage your forces on the organization's screen. This covers adding captured units to your ranks as well as unit production, development, design, and exchange. You can also try your hand at creating, scouting, and training characters. We have a total of 50 capital. Okay. And, uh... Okay, sure, sure. This, yep. It's all tracks. So we start off, and all we have are... The Phoenix... Two Phoenix Zeros and two Tornado Gundams. Okay, that that is... Uh, I'm familiar with those. And character-wise... Okay, we have all the G-Generation characters. I recognize most of these folks. This is what, Mark Gilder? This is Goat Logan? Yep. Uh, I don't remember all of them, to be honest. I mean, like, I recognize their face. Like, this is, like, Frieza or something? Brand Freeze? Yeah. Uh, one of these is Nikki Taylor. Is it this one? Yeah, Nikki Taylor. Uh, who was the other one? I had this guy, Blood, uh, yeah, Blood, okay. Blood was one of my, my boys, and then these were the folks that were actually piloting the ship. Um, I think I had her as the pilot, Luna Mana. We had, uh, Kusi, yep, 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 so a lot of these are, uh, okay, that's cool. I like that. Alright, so, also, interestingly enough, modific- okay, modifications, got it, got it, got it. Interestingly enough, uh, I don't know if we... Is there any DLC that comes with the SD... SD Gundam G-Generation Genesis? I don't know. But it looks like we'll be starting with 50,000 capital, and we'll, we'll have to go from there. So, let's... Uh, we're going to go to list again. I'm going to go with characters, and I am going to create a few. Oh, we can scout characters. Can we? We can definitely create characters. I think, right? Scouted characters can be enlisted into your forces for an amount of capital. Once enlisted, you can train them the same as anyone else in your forces. If you spot a character you like, don't hesitate to scout him or her right away. Haro or Haro, uh, Apollodia, Code Amelius, and Code Phoenix. Uh, Haro, I, I know, but the rest don't know. Okay. Can you... Do they not have custom characters in this one? Hmm... Oh. To form a maximum of four groups, combine your favorite characters and units to create a colorful, unique dream team. Mm. 
Form groups. Huh. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. From list, you can't do it, but from managed characters, you can do it. Okay. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. On the custom character screen, you can create an entirely original character to add to your forces once you have fashioned a unique persona. Test your creation on the battlefield when entering text. Unsupported strings will be swapped with spaces. Got it. All right. Well, I'm going to become our very first individual once again. Custom character mail. Um, it's the fourth month on the 13th of the day. Oops. My blood type is AB positive. I guess it's going to be AB. Uh, when fighting on the ground, gain 5 accuracy and evasion. Oh, oh, okay. Um, when fighting, okay. And then a uh, specified ally unit recovers 50% of energy. Okay, sure. I guess we confirm that. Do we get to put in a name? Oh, that was just for the blood type. Okay, gotcha. Um, hmm. Kind of me, I guess. Based on off of what we had before. I guess that's as close as I got. I guess that'll be me. I mean, I don't really care. Uh, just so you guys know, I'm going to be reading everything. And uh, saying it all out. So there will be voices. I'm going to have them down low in the background. And it's just something you guys are going to have to accept. Huh. Sure, whatever. Alright. Uh, music. Cancel. How do we, uh... Oh, okay. Playback. Nice. Uh, good stuff. What else we got? We're going to turn this up a little bit so we can hear it a little bit better. Mm. Not loving it. Oh, listen to that. Okay. Okay. see glue mm -hmm. okay oh wait is that the 08 ms team i think i could go somewhat classic i think that's number two that's gonna get on my nerves though after a while like i like the start of it but when it goes it, it's it's uh... yeah I'm okay with it for a while, but you hear it so much, right? I'm okay with that. That's fine. Alright. So that's what we're rolling with. Turn the music back down a little bit. Uh, profile, I'm totally okay with that, and I think that's it. That's that's me. I'm okay with this. Oh wait, my name is not custom character. Excuse me. I didn't realize that it said custom character there. All right. Uh, all right. There we go. Can I get a space in there? It's like I'm good. All right, that works. All right, got it. Everything seems seems fine. Let's do it. New entry: Beyond the Ray of Light. 
here for it. All right, so let's let's actually get into uh, some stuff here. Uh, manage units, reduce mobile suit. Uni units on your production list can be acquired in exchange for capital. You can add to the list by designing or developing units. All right, so to start off, we have a Type 61 main battle tank. We have the Magella attack tank, the DOP, the Saberfish, Zany, Zany, Tornado Gundam. That's all we really have available to us right now. I don't know what our first uh, thing is going to be. I'm okay with being like in a tank. That's expensive to get that right away with only having 50,000. But I think I might do it. Develop. Any mobile suit or mobile armor unit raised to level 2 or higher can be developed, uh, changing it into a different mobile suit mobile armor. Performed at level 2, the resulting unit will have relatively low specs. Development at level 3 or higher will enable the creation of a high spec unit. And you can see essentially what it's going to turn into at the bottom. So it's currently the Tornado Gundam. It will turn into the Phoenix Zero. And then here we don't know what it'll turn into, but it'll be something else. Okay. I'm I'm gonna do I'm gonna do something dumb probably here. All right. Um, I'm gonna buy a tank. Yep. There we have it. All right. I'm gonna go form my group. All right, this is team one. And, oh boy. They already have it set up at least a little bit. Um, I guess I will start with group two. So are they all warship groups or do they have different ones? All right, it's gonna be me. There I am. Don't be McSquiggums. Mm. It actually doesn't seem like it's going to work the way I'm thinking it's going to work. Uh, let's move you down here. Actually, you know what? Let's move you up here. Move you, oh, oh dear lord. Here. Let's move you here. And then we're gonna we're gonna put me here and we're gonna deploy this bad boy here. Alright, that, that's what we're rolling with. Uh wish me luck, folks. Wish me luck. Luna, is that you? It is Luna. Alright. Okay. I think it's I think it's time. Oh god. It's time to begin our adventures. Hopefully we're on land to start with, because if we're not, Alright, stage selection. Select a series and then a stage to begin playing. Series are selectable at all times, allowing you to proceed in chronological order or jump to your favorites. The choice is entirely yours. Alright, so we have the original mobile suit Gundam, Amaro and crew. We've got the Mobile Suit Gundam uh, MS Igloo, um, probably one, two, and three. Those are, uh, I don't know, those were interesting. I, I haven't finished all three of them. I've, I've watched one and a half, and I, I struggle with this a little bit. Uh, the 08th uh, Mobile Suit Team. Uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Cross Dimension 0079. I don't know what that is. I haven't seen that one yet. Mobile Suit Gundam Side Story The Blue Destiny. Haven't seen that yet either. Rise from the Ashes. No such luck. Zionic Front Mobile Suit Gundam 0079. Nope. Lost War Chronicles. No. Space Beyond the Blaze. There's a lot that I haven't seen yet, folks. Apologies. I have seen War in the Pocket. Uh, mobile Suit 
Gundam uh, Battlefield record, UC 0081. Stardust Memory, no, a new translation. Double Suit Gundam, uh, Zeta Gundam, new translation. Is the new translation, is that just added to it? I, I don't remember that being part of it, but maybe. Then Double Zeta, a Char's Counterattack, and Gundam Unicorn. And that's all that they're showing. Still a lot of them, though. I guess we start at the top. Start with Amaro and crew. Well, I do want to see the uh, menu. Oh, no. That's not what I want to see. All right. Gundam Rising. I guess we get into it. Um, we have normal, hard, and extra. I think we start on normal here. Oh, it's in space. Son of a... I'm going to have to borrow a mobile suit. Sorry. You get my tank for now, buddy. Sorry about that. Yeah, sorry. I say, if it was on land, that would have been one thing, but it's definitely not. All right, so we begin, I guess. It's available. All right. Gundam Rising. Half a century has passed since humanity began expanding into outer space due to population pressure. Enormous artificial cities orbiting near Earth became new homes, places to raise children, live, and die. It is January of the year Universal Century 0079. The space city farthest from Earth, Side 3, calling itself the Principality of Xeon, begins a war of independence. The Earth Federation, however, kept its space colonies in check through brute force. In fact, its military might was 30 times that of Xeon. The Federation expected a resounding victory. However... Oh, look at it. It's the Red Comet. Using humanoid weapons called mobile suits, the Minofsky particles that dis disabled guided weapons and radar Oh, and Manovsky particles and disabled guided weapons and radar. The Xeon forces overwhelmed the Federation in vision-based combat. This new Xeon technology was responsible for the destruction of three Federation space cities in just 40 hours. The horrors of this war were just beginning, however. The Xeon forces turned to an even more devastating tactic. Oh yeah, yep. The Colony Drop. This new tactic involved taking a colony from a destroyed space city and dropping it onto Earth. Many lives are lost as a result of the Operation British, Colony Drop, a diabolical war crime. In one month of fighting, the Principality and Federation had brought about the death of half the human population. The war then entered a stalemate that lasted eight months. Yep. Bad juju. Some seriously dark juju magumbos going on. Alright. Stage 01, Gundam Rising. Oh, look at the little Zakus! Ah, oh, they're so cool. So, Gene, any luck? Yes, Chief. All right, the gun tanks. Yes. This block contains the military facilities. Everyone should be on duty. Only one car is out. I don't see anyone. Amaro! Amaro! Hello, Amaro! Hello, Amaro! I don't like Haro. Haro, you're as cheerful as ever. Thank you, Amaro. I knew it. What are you still doing here? Didn't you hear the evacuation alarm? 
Evacuation alarm? You mean that siren that was just going off? Are you saying you didn't hear the announcement? A warship is about to dock, so we have to evacuate. Why? I don't know. Anyway, there's no time, Amuro. Hurry up, get in the car. Fine, fine, you don't have to yell. I knew it, that's a Federation mobile suit. Now's our chance, smash it. Gene, this is a reconnaissance, reconnaissance mission. But what if the enemy mobile suit starts moving? They're being paranoid. We can't let this opportunity go to waste. Uh-oh. Gene, stand down. Think of it, Lieutenant Commander Char. Or think of Lieutenant Commander Char. He made his name on the battlefield. Hey, Gene, how dare you disobey a direct order? Stop, Gene! Watch, I'll be a war hero. Oh, check it out. Zaku 2. Heh. <laughs> the sooner the enemy is defeated, the better. Huh? Is that a Zeon Zaku? Amuro, hurry up, get in the evacuation capsule. It's no good, the evacuation capsule won't make it. I'll ask them to let us evacuate on that ship that just docked. Uh-oh. Eek! Fro! Is it Fro? Frau? Fraubo? Fraubo. Frau! You'll get yourself killed! Run, Frau! No. Hang in there, you're strong, you can do it. Run to the port, I'll be right behind you. Okay. Run, Frau Bo. Run, run, Frau. Okay. Meanwhile, it's just as I predicted. The Federation has developed its own mobile suits. And Chief Petty Officer Denim? Sir, you left the rear guard to provide backup for Gene. What shall we do, Lieutenant Commander Char? Denim's been stuck with a new recruit. I'll probably have to take care of this myself. Bring the ship up near Side 7. Yes, sir. I hate to admit it. Oh, uh, I made because of youth. What? Same mistakes I made because of youth? Like the first line he said in like a quarter of a second, the second one he said over like a 10 seconds. It's weird. This must be a Federation mobile suit. It works. Wow, the energy gain is over 500%. Let's see what it can do. So the dude just, like, didn't kill the Gundam while I was sitting there? That was like his whole fear. Chief! Chief Betty Officer Denim! The enemy's mobile suit has started to move! What? what? I thought it was just a collection of parts. There's no way it can move all that well yet. Leave it to me. That's as far as you go. You tell him, Amuro. Stop! Stand down, Gene! Our mission is recon only! What are you talking about? If we don't defeat the enemy here... Take this, Zaku scum! Start mission. Aw, oh, this is so cool. Can Amuro destroy Denim with his beam saber? Did he have a beam saber at the beginning? I thought he didn't have any weapons. Ah, well, it's fine. Once the stage is loaded, or you uh, order your units to attack the enemy after your units perform their respective actions. Press the circle button on an empty area to bring up the system command. Press pass. It will transition to your opponent's turn. All right. Attack. Yeah, we'll go with the beam saber. Why not? Alright, 70% chance to hit us. We have 12,000 hit points to his 7310. Alright, I'll watch the battle animation right now. Should should I do it? Amuro. <laughs> He's terrified, this mobile suit. Oh, so bright. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, the poor Zaku 2. 38.99 damage. Alright, Zaku 2 with his Heat Hawk. Oh, he missed. It's unfortunate for him. Alright. I wonder if there's a way to configure it to automatically go when we've used all of our actions. That's fine, though. Change phase. Counter. You can react to enemy attacks in one of three ways. Counter. You'll meet an attack with an attack of your own. Defend. You'll reduce range damage and drop and drops in vigor. And evade. Decreases chance of enemy attacks landing. So right now it's a 70% chance for him to hit us. If we go to evade, it goes down to 56. I'm just going to counter it. Beam Saber up. Let's get it. Uh, no animation this time. The attack, the evade, the attack, and that's him gone. You monster! Gene, get out of here! Chief, Chief Petty Officer Denim! Oh, that's really weird. If. If I hit that mobile suit's engine, it might destroy the whole colony. Is this the power of a Federation mobile suit? You bastard, Jane! Uh-oh. The Zaku blows up. Site 7 will lose all of its air. What should I do? Okay. Uh, oh, Vulcan's two out. Gotcha. We'll hit him with the uh, the Vulcan gun. Only 85% chance for us to hit this time. Federation monster, die! What should I do? Maybe just aim at the cockpit? Okay, a little bit of exchanging of blows there. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pass. Yeah, we'll counter. Okay, 22-14. 26 It's our time to shine. We're taking him down with the beam saber, baby. He said good day, sir. 3750, and that is it. Challenge completed. Score bonus 5000. What? Oh. Did, did I do it? Our vigor is up. Every hit you land will build vigor. Conversely, miss a hit or sustain damage, and vigor will decrease. If it falls low enough, you'll become dazed and unable to attack or counter. Oh, that's terrible. Raise Vigor to super high, and all successful attacks will be critical strikes. Four less than morale from cross -rays. Witness to history. Okay. So what exactly happened last night? I prayed for a successful operation. That's Dozel Zabi. Instead, your inefficiency and incompetence spoiled my dinner. We've caught wind of the Federation Operation V, or 5, Admiral. Nope, I think it's we've caught wind of the Federation's Operation V. I think that might be advice, Admiral. I'm trying to remember back. What? Operation V? <laughs> As expected from the Red Comet. Alright, what else? We're on our way back, and are out of ammo. You need to resupply? Very well, I'll see that you have what you need. Thank you, sir. We'll also need to replace three Zakus. Three Zakus were lost on your watch? Yes, Vice Admiral. Of the three, two were taken out by a single Federation mobile suit. Very well, you'll have your Zakus. I don't care how, but get that Operation V data. Yes, sir. I'll give it my all, sir. How, how is the loading of the mobile suits coming along? Captain, thankfully one pilot is manning the Gundam. We are loading the gun cannons and gun tanks as quickly as possible. 
Who is the pilot? I haven't yet confirmed the pilot's identity. Look into that later. As as soon as the civilians have been taken aboard, launch the white base from side seven. Yes, sir, but the white base's pilot is... Uh, excuse me, it's Mirai. Mirai. I only have a cruiser class license, but if you need someone to fly this thing... You. Uh, and you are? Mirai Yashima. Ah, yes, you're from the Yashima family. Captain, we've finished loading the gun cannons and gun tanks, sir. Tell, tell the Gundam pilot to get rid of all the mobile suit parts we can't use. Understood, Captain. Good stuff, good stuff. Hello? Anyone still here? Anyone? No survivors. Oh, Sayla. Hmm. Stop right there. Ah, huh, that's Char. Or Char. Very brave. You aren't military. Or even a gorilla. Don't move. I'll, I'll shoot. You look just like... But Artesia... Please remove your helmet. Uh, out of my way. Brother? Did that happen that early on? I don't know that that did. Maybe it did. That was a Xeon. Are you alright? Uh, yeah. I have to get rid of these mobile suit parts. You should take refuge on the white base. Uh, okay. That was my brother. It was Casfall. Or was it? Who who was in there? He said his name was Amaro. I I don't know who that is. Maybe he's a pilot doing some testing at Side 7? Contact the Gundam. Make sure it covers the white base when we leave. Yes, sir. Status, Mirai? It will take a little longer for the engines to reach their critical point. Captain, the Gundam is being piloted by a child. What? That kid, it must be Amaro. You know him? Not very well. He's known around Site 7 for being good with machines. And this Amaro is the one who defeated the Zeon Zakus? The Gundam's performance made it possible. Captain, I'll get him out of there. Our regular pilots are torn to shreds. None of the wounded are in any shape to fight. He's a bit green for his first battle, but when you consider history, boys as young as 15 would fight. Very well, let him do it. S sir? Uh, Amaro's judgment is on the mark. Leave it to him. Y yes, sir. And so begins the birth of a legend. Maybe. I might be. I might be the legend. I want to be sure. Oh, look, the white base. He's exited the docking bay. You're too tense. Stay calm. The computer will compensate for any problems. Oh, uh, thank you. To Amaro and the Gundam. A Xeon ship may be waiting to ambush us. Be careful. Got it. Can you carefully check each block one more time? Um, okay. There it is. Large missiles are closing in on us. Uh-oh. Oh, look at it. Look at it. That won't do. Bright, take the command. Yes, sir, Captain. All blocks prepare to intercept. Bright, the core fighter's ready to launch. Ryu, are you sure you can do this? I'm a pilot cadet. This is better than nothing. Oh, we got the core fighter. That's great. Bright, should I shoot down those missiles? Leave it to me. I'm counting on you. Don't get too close or you'll get hit, so be careful. It'll be alright. That Gundam has a beam rifle. Amaro, make sure you use it effectively. 
Got it. I'll see what I can do. I should be able to take out one or two missiles. Sortie team. Oh, yes. Okay, sortie groups. After your, after you form your groups, they can be deployed at sortie points throughout the map. Note that warships cannot be deployed if there is no compatible terrain. Depending on the stage, you may be able to deploy up to two groups. Oh, no. Wait. Unit incompatible with terrain? It's probably telling me that the tank is incompatible with the terrain. Is my guess. That's fine. It doesn't matter. I, I, I don't think it affects anything. Alright. And that's all we have right now. We don't have additionals. So... We're going to go ahead and we're going to do uh, stage start. Da -da 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 -da. Destroy all missiles. Can Amuro destroy at least three missiles? Only if I'm on point. Alright, event six remaining. Challenge is three. Alright. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to break it off right there. I do hope you guys have enjoyed our very first episode in. Um, I do definitely plan to play this through to uh, the end. Uh, we'll probably just focus initially on this. We might do War in the Pocket or 08 uh, Mobile Suit Team or something along those lines. We'll do maybe a few things in this game before we hop back over to SD Gundam G Generation Cross Rays. And then we'll kind of bounce back and forth as I watch the various different series and animes and things of that nature. But uh, this is really cool. Um, I can definitely see the improvements made in Cross Rays. Uh, the control scheme is a little bit backwards for me, but it's fine, and uh, I'm excited. I can't wait to play some more. Hopefully you guys have uh, had a good time. If you want more information about the game, uh, information on the publisher, any of that stuff, I'll have it all down below in the description of the video and various links. And yeah, until the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer. <laughs>